Hey guys, it's Naira. Welcome to my channel. Or welcome. That was some serious jazz hands just now. All you self promoters are janky. We established like the gang. Hey guys, it's Naira. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Today I'm going to be sitting down for the first video in a long time and just doing my makeup with you guys. Just strictly a makeup video. This is my everyday go-to makeup look. Super perfect for spring because we got some color on the cheeks and we got some really flirty, you know, fun spring lashes. I love this look. This look, if I'm rushing, I can do in 15 to 20 minutes. If I sit down and I take my time, this look max takes me 40 minutes. So yeah, if you guys want to know the products that I have in mi cara, and if you want to see how I got this look, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm a brows first kind of girl. If you're not, that's cool. No beef around these parts of town. Do whatever you want to do first. So I'm, I start at the tail of my brow, just filling it in and shaping it, and then I move to the front. For me, the brows is all about looking as natural as possible and like creating fake like hair, realistic like hair-like strokes at the front of my brow. Um, and I just kind of outline it and then go in and start to create the hair-like strokes. I have some eyebrow hair, but it's not very shapely and it's not really as thick as I would like it to. So that's why for me creating the illusion of like eyebrow hair in the front is like so important. You would think that somebody like me who wants their eyebrows to be like fuller and have more like, you know, hair, I would try one of those like growth products, but I just don't like, I don't like those or like hair growth vitamins or like lash boosters, you know, hair, skin and nail pills. I don't like stuff like that because when your body gets dependent on that, once you stop taking it, you're going to be growing your hair at a slower rate. So it's like, I'm gonna just let my body do what it do. You know what I mean? Okay, let's move on to the face. On an everyday basis, I straight up don't wear eyeshadow, period. Because who got time to wake up before work another hour early so you can perfect your eyeshadow? It's not gonna happen with me. I'm not doing it and I don't care. So we're gonna jump right to the face. My favorite foundation is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I've run out of this like four times and I just keep replacing it. I haven't tried another foundation in months because I'm obsessed with this and I'm like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So let me know down below what your favorite foundations are because Lord knows I'm, I need to like get a life and move on. For me, this foundation is like the X you just can't get over. You just can't get over them. They have too many good qualities. You know there's more out there, but it's like, but look at what this one does for me. Excuse the abrupt change in appearance. I put on a headband to protect my lace. If you know how wigs, then if you know, if you wear wigs and you already know how that goes. Unpopular opinion, but highlighting is the most important part of the makeup, really. Um, Cause it really is what brings all your features together. I'm taking the Instant Age Rewind. I previously said nobody cares about this concealer anymore but me. But that's not true because Auntie Jackie, Jackie Ina, still uses this concealer too. Honestly, this concealer was the only concealer that could make me stop using the LA Girl Pro Conceal because LA Girl Pro Conceal honestly changed my life and snatched my edges. Like, that concealer was the it girl for a long time for me. Before all this shape tape nonsense started happening, and now everybody want to use shape tape. Shave tape don't even got my color. And if they got my color, they don't have my undertone. But that's tea for another video. While I'm concealing everything else anyway, this is usually the point where I go ahead and like clean up under my brows with the same concealer. Um, this is important to me at least. I just feel like this really pulls your brows together. Most days, I don't use powder. Um, I don't have really oily skin, so I don't have much of a problem with my makeup moving around, so I usually don't set anything. I know that's crazy, but I straight up don't set nothing. All right, I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Cream Contour Palette in deep. I think this is in deep. I'm taking the darkest shade, and I'm just gonna contour my nose and my cheeks a little tiny bit. Un piquito on my cheeks. I say this in pretty much like all my makeup videos, but I'm really not good at contouring my face. Like contouring my cheeks 
it's my downfall. This is a Real Techniques uh, diamond blending sponge. This will straight up change your makeup, man. This gets in all the little crevices that even the little tiny beauty blenders doesn't. Let's move on to my absolute favorite thing. In favorite. I can't talk. Let's move on to my absolute favorite thing in the world. Blush. Blush was literally made for brown girls. Oh my God, it's so cute. I'm taking the e.l.f. Powder Blush Palette in light. My favorite blush combo is mixing these two. Some days I'll just do this one, um, but I usually like to mix the two because it gives a really cute glow. I love these two. They're like BFFs on my cheeks. They have so much fun together. And they gossip a lot and they love each other. So cute! All right, now for highlighter, I usually just highlight my nose. If I am gonna highlight on my cheeks, it's a little tiny bit. Um, so I'm gonna highlight my nose and my cheeks, just a, like literally a tiny bit, barely noticeable. I'm taking the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Bar. This is in Fire. And lastly, lips is the easiest combo in the world. Or like dark pinkish brownish nude. And I overline my lips a little and then I kind of like fill them in. You guys will like see what I mean. I kind of just like fill in like the like the cracks, like, like the, the shape of my lips. And then I put on a little bit of gloss. Um, this is kind of newer to my routine. I used to just overline with gloss but I've started doing this the last few days and I absolutely love it. All right, and if you're thinking, how could this look get any prettier? Lashes. I'm gonna put my lashes on off camera and I'll be back so y'all can see what on this drip looks like. Honestly, I wish little 13 year old me that had like just started playing with makeup could like was would be able to see that I would like be able to beat my face like this in the future. Astonishing. My favorite part about this look is that even if I sit down, I'm being slow, I'm taking my time getting ready, but I'm doing this look, it will take me 40 minutes max. And for somebody that is wearing a full face of makeup, that is good. Like 40 minutes max I could do this look in 20 if I'm rushing if I'm really sitting down paying attention to detail I do this in 40 max that is so good for a full face of makeup I really hope you guys enjoyed this look you take some tips you try it out you got something from this video if you guys did enjoy this video leave me a like and comment down below don't forget to hit me up on the gram go follow me and I will see you guys in my next video yeah, all you self-promoters are janky We established like the Yankees This whole fucking game thankless We moving militant but somehow you the one tanking No limit to where I could take it And you know me as a crisp bottle sender Check pick up or I thought we looked out for one another Saw us all as brothers in a struggle Too blessed to be humble I guess it's different in the city I come from All this